good morning you guys uh, i know i look a mess but you're just gonna have to take me as i am i just literally had surgery yesterday as you can see my little wristbands and stuff and if you can see this one right here all of that shit that you see that they got written right there is literally everything that they just did to me so i'm highly medicated right now i'm still in a little bit of pain and that's why i wanted to say like shout out to everybody that be having to have frequent like back-to-back -back surgeries and stuff like that have it be like i could never imagine like open chest heart surgery oh my god like the recovery from that or like I, one of my old co-workers when i was working in dc years ago this girl had um like a slip disc or something in her back this girl had to keep having back surgeries and like right after this like second major surgery she had it looked like a zipper going up her back because of the stitches and stuff and like it gives me a whole totally different perception and perspective of like people when they complain about being scared to go to surgery or just dreading to have another surgery because like I damn near feel paralyzed right now like I cannot get up and walk by myself I can't do anything by myself like I literally have people taking care of me right now which I'm very thankful of but um it's no way in hell that I could imagine having to go through something like this multiple times in my fucking life, you know? Um, so shout out to everybody that's had to frequently get surgeries. Um, one of the people that I watched online from back on Fix, Matt, he just had like um, a car accident and he said that these motherfuckers operated on him like damn near 16 times before they transferred him to another hospital and on live like he just broke down crying and it oh my god it did something to me because he was just like i'm just tired of them cutting on me i'm tired of them y'all that shit about to make me cry right now until you've had a surgery until you had to like go through the recovery of the surgery because the surgery not that bad you don't remember shit at all is the wake up mm -hmm. so um i want to say shout out to smack i want to say shout out to my baby girl tanya my old co-worker that i work with that went through those multiple back surgeries i because i swear like i i think i really underestimated or um because a lot of times you be thinking people be lying because they just don't want to come to work and things like that. And I feel really bad now because I can only imagine the amount of pain that my old co-worker Latanya was in because she was having them back surgeries all the time. And even before her having the back surgery, Latanya never used to come to work because she was always complaining about her back. And, like, mm -mm -mm, I feel so bad now. You know what I'm saying? Because they ain't even fuck with my back. I just couldn't imagine. So, I love y'all. I just wanted to vent because I'm actually not all loopy today, like under anesthesia and shit. I could only imagine how the fuck I was yesterday. Anyway, I love y'all. I'm about to stay stuck in this chair. And um, hopefully, the recovery is soon. I just feel like shit.